hello 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 welcome to another vlog we are back and picking up where we left off um we had the baby shower as you can see in the last vlog that i had and i unfortunately got sick after the baby shower it was not covid but i've just been under the weather so i am picking up where i left off and i'm super excited um i'll insert some clips of the baby shower because it was so beautiful i just didn't get enough content to um film a like an entire video on it but yeah come with me today um this vlog will be me going to san francisco i'm going to this really oh my god i can already see the traffic i need to hurry up i'm going to this very um well-known fabric store in the city it's called brightex um i have some more affordable ones that i like to go to but i wanted to go to brightex to see what type of trimming that they have um and just look for materials for my custom pillows that i do have as you can see one is behind me um and this is really beautiful it has a pearl trimming um great material very well made i'll show you guys more in depth more designs but come with me to the city um to run around you'll see what i'm up to i'm hungry might get some food come with me let's go Drop the roof and let the smoke clear So I just I took the stupid airpod out I just left Brightex They did not have what I needed So I'm gonna go to my good trusty fabric store But I need to get something to eat first but on to the next destination. I was able to look at their trim section and get some good inspirations. I'll show you guys some clips. The quality in my shorty bag. You know she wants me, mom, when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. She got her toys. She been coming in the ride up. It's that room I suffer, Jay, and count my figure shit. It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spit what you wanna Be who you wanna be But I am in the city And it's such a beautiful day Walking around Ooh. Okay, y'all, I'm starting to get hangry <laughs> I'm glasses and my mask back on. Incognito. Can't get over this. The weather feels so good. It's perfect outside. Hey y'all. So I'm picking up the vlog right here. Yesterday ended pretty abruptly because I got really hungry and I think that caused me to get in headaches. So I just got some food and went in the house. Um, so we're picking up here today. We're gonna head to Wana Creek and see what we can find at some of my like stores I'll go to out there. Of course, the Zara um, is given. Just, you can get, get small pieces from there. The girls know. Um, and then I want to go to Aritzia and do they have an anthropology in Wanna Creek? I believe they do. And maybe Pottery Barn. So um, come with me to run to a few stores. Oh, I want to go to Free People too. Just to see what I could find for my vacation. Um, and yeah, I may go to my favorite restaurant in Wanna Creek called True Food Kitchen. Um, this is a solo date. I usually... I'm solo <laughs> for the most part. Come with me today. We're heading out and yeah, let's see what we can find. I'll probably do like a try on haul in the dressing room if I do find something, but I've been like becoming more picky lately with what I purchase. Um, 
I think I mentioned that like in the last video and I need to find more pants when I tell you that I've been trying on my pants and they have been given too small <laughs> So, um, yeah, that womanly body is coming in. So I need some stretch or a bigger size. So I may be on the hunt for some jeans. I usually like to get jeans from um, Aritzia. They have like better denim than Zara. So yeah, let's see what we find. Come with me and I'll pick the camera back up when I get to Walnut Creek. See you in a minute. It's not that I'm over you. So I'm at the fitting room in Aritzia. And I have a couple things that I want to try on. No luck at Zara. Zara was a bust. Couldn't even try anything on. So now I'm at Aritzia. <laughs> so I'm trying on Aritzia. This is a loafer towel-esque material shirt, but I don't know how I feel about it. They just did look nice on the rack, but they're completely too big. Trying to find the light and airy stuff for Hawaii, but pants, no. Top, I need a little bralette under it, but I like the top. The top looks cute. This is the front. This is the back. I just like the colors all together. It looks nice. It's like a cool detail. Again, you can see my bra through here, but if you put a cute bralette, this would be really cute. I like, now I have some pants to try on. Might be too tight too. I might be in denial. Let's see. Hey y'all. So the shopping has commenced. <laughs> I kind of just peeked at the videos I did take. And you know when it's just really quiet in a store and you don't want to talk loud. So while I was in the dressing room, I was trying not to talk loud. So I don't know how the audio is going to be. But as a quick recap, I only went to a few stores and got me some food, by the way, because you get so hungry when you're shopping. But went to a few stores and it just wasn't giving me everything that I needed. I only got one top that I know goes with these glasses that I just got. But yeah, I'm going to just keep looking because again, I'm just not rushing to purchase things. I'm not on a time crunch just yet. So I decided to go ahead and leave. I was hungry. I came on to my spot. Fish Grill, California. Le let me not play california fish grill it's really good fish um diced up zucchini grilled with rosemary garlic butter and lemon oh baby baby i'm about to have me myself a good time i got a little drive to get home so baby girl's about to sit here and eat and enjoy um and yeah i'll get back to y'all i'll get back to y'all because this is about to be too good i gotta go y'all i'll lock in with y'all later <laughs> i'll lock in with y'all later i gotta go finish my food and head back i'm trying to debate if i'm gonna try to make it to home goods because i've been trying to find this one painting that again i saw this lady take right before i can get my hands on it so yeah <laughs> bye we just thank the sun for being out still at 7 50 p.m it's about to set but it is still out and it's so late i love it here um this car is riding my butt so i'm gonna need you to back it up back it up back it up back it up um 
<clears throat> so I'm so thirsty that I just stopped back at Home Goods that I go to. I stopped at the Home Goods again. So this is my second time here this week. I am so determined to find and just stumble upon the picture I keep talking about. The painting, the, well the piece of art that I'm talking about. Excuse me because... I don't have my stabilizer, but it's like a, such a beautiful texture. Oh, the sun, it's a beautiful textured piece and I've never seen anything like it. Um, it, it was like 3D perfect. Like I have to find a picture that can, you know, I can put on the screen that can like describe it better because it's like it's hard to describe but pretty much long story short I went to home goods and it was a flop it was trash I didn't even go through all of the aisles like I usually do I didn't go through all the aisles like I usually do I went to the paintings and the rugs rugs were gone through not much left losing hope in home goods and it's sad it's sad it's really sad that I'm losing hope in home goods because I like used to love home goods and every time I go I just find less and less things that I'm willing to purchase from there I have to really really like the piece um but I'm on my way home I got my food I'm gonna head home and check in with you guys in a minute so I'm not driving without like a tripod and trying to record so and it's so bumpy anyway so i'll check back in with y'all peace <laughs> peace and please let this car stop right on my butt bye 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 welcome to this portion of the video i'm really excited to be bringing you what i'm bringing you today to be giving what i'm supposed to give <laughs> Now, I'm really excited to show you guys my pillow designs that I've been working on for a year plus. These pillows have been posted and they are available for purchase. Well, the majority of them, I'm going to show you two unreleased designs, but I really just want to dive into my first collection and show you guys some of the designs, what my aesthetic is, what pillows I do carry. I have started off small in regards to design. So I, I have a few designs to show you. So just a second, let's... Uh, first pillow. Chop, chop. The first pillow that I have to show you, and it, it's very fitting with the decor and the aesthetic, or like Marshawn Lynch says, the ambiance and the decor. <laughs> But it's very fitting. I love this pillow. It just brings so much texture to the space. You know, boucle is very much on trend. But I really do love this fabric. And I would say this is more so like Sherpa. Um, but it just brings a great amount of texture to the space. Brass zipper just brings the perfect amount of visual interest to this. So you can just style this on an accent chair like this, on your bed or any additional furniture piece where you would, you know, see this fit. So I love this pillow. This is one of my first designs that I did come up with. Um, it's funny, when I first start creating the pillows, you know, you have to go through trial and error. I got the pillows made. I was like, this is a disaster. I hate the shape. I hate, hate how it's made. It's just not for me. So that's when I had to go on the journey of who can curate these pillows for me and the quality and, you know, tier that I want them to be. So it took me some trial and error and to go through a few people, few factories, you would call it, to go ahead and curate this pillows well these pillows and this design so this actually again was like a year in the making before I even put out my first design but I do really stand by the quality and the craftsman and the crafts and the crafts 
<laughs> and the craftsmanship of this pillow it's just really well made you could just unzip this um, zipper and go ahead and insert the down feathered insert that comes with the pillow um, on my website I actually do have an option for um, just the pillow cover or with the pillow insert as well so you guys can go on glossinteriors.com and check out some of my designs see if you like anything um, you can actually leave me a comment below too and let me know what your favorite design is maybe I'll start doing more of that but yeah this is the first pillow and let's go to the next one so this is my black onyx pillow that I love so much this is actually one of my favorites it just looks so amazing it's the perfect topper for like again the sofa accent chair like when you put this on something it just gives it that that pizzazz <laughs> i love it this just looks amazing i really stand behind the designs that i'm putting together get your hands on the black onyx please do so i love this pillow so much so let's go to the next one hey guys so Okay, so I'm back with the third pillow design. This is our chartreuse pillow. Um, and actually, I like it, I prefer it to go like this direction, but you can have the pillow face in this way or this way. We love a good chop. We love a good chop, but here is the chartreuse, the chartreuse pillow. Can I pronounce that? I think that's just like a perfect description of this color. It has the single bra zipper here, so you can really see a theme in that first collection. It's the brass zipper details in different areas of each pillow design. So I just wanted to bring some like fun functionality <clears throat> in regards to getting the pillow inside and just having something fun for the front of the pillow. But I truly feel like this is the jewelry for your space. That's why I just love doing different designs you don't typically see. Like this is super subtle, super subtle, but I love this design. Um, again, this is the chartreuse pillow. So if you wanna check this out online, I'll um, of course have my website linked below and let me know what you think. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this pillow here might be one of my favorites and the reason I say that this might be one of my favorites is because the design is so subtle yet so detailed like look at let me get close look at the pearl trimming look at the pearl trimming on this pillow design it's amazing the pearl trimming is to die look at that beautiful like you can't see it that well on the camera but in person the detail on this pillow is truly amazing again this is one of my favorites leave me a comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite and since this will be a part of the new collection of pillows let me know what I should name hers this something with a pearl in the name give me some name ideas but this pillow is just simply gorgeous and then we have a zipper down below but this pillow is a stunner it truly is so again let me know some name ideas but I am in love with this design and it is coming very soon so check out my website glossinteriors.com the last pillow I will be showing you today because I can't give you all of the sneak peeks. I gotta leave something up for surprise. So this is a abstract pattern pillow that has dual sides. So you can flip it on this side and have it plain, or you can go ahead and flip it back on the pattern side if you're feeling a little fun. So I love that this is this, I love that this has dual functionality. Um, and again, this is like, it, this is great. This is great design right here. Brings the perfect amount of visual interest as well. 
you know, I didn't add any trim to this one because I felt like the pattern really spoke for itself. But take a look at this. And also, please give me any name suggestions for this design as well because the last one I just showed you and this one is not on the site yet. So this will be posted soon. But I wanted to go ahead and hash out the design and make sure everything was correct before I posted it online. So you guys are getting a peek first. Let me know what you think. <laughs> but yeah, this concludes my pillows that I will be showing you today. This is just like a small facet of, well, not a small facet because I, they're really big to me. Like the fact that I, you know, brought designs from start to finish, from nothing to something, it's very much something. <laughs> so I really love these these pillows. And again, I really stand behind the craftsmanship and the work and the quality of these pillows. I ensure that I'm partnering with like local artisans to create these designs. So this is handmade in the Bay Area. This is love being put in each and every single one of these pillows. This is just not a mass produced bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, and pass it off. This is really made with love, attention to detail, and I'm really proud of what I have created so far. So that is my small segment of my design today. This is, <laughs> this will be um, how I'm gonna wrap the video. I hope you guys really enjoy seeing these pillows. Um, I have a few favorites, but again, they're all my favorites because obviously I made them. <laughs> so I'm a bit biased. Let me know which pillow you like the best because again, I may just do more of that if I get, you know, a nice amount of feedback. So yeah, let me know. <laughs> I'm definitely excited to um, hear some feedback and what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me to go sourcing for fabrics and trimmings, um, coming to the city with me, and just going around and being a part of my process. I'm really happy to share this with you guys and to be able to, of course, show you the pillows that I just showed you and some of my designs. So again, <clears throat> so again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you return for more videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.